After bills in the House and Senate to save Fairfield Lake State Park failed to make it through this last session, the park's loyal visitors are now wondering, what now? 25 News reporter Angela Parsky is at the park. It's been a long, confusing few months for Fairfield Lake goers. You can see behind me what used to be the sign for Fairfield Lake State Park. That's now completely gone, but the gates to get in are still open. The question everyone seems to be asking is, for how long? I would love for you to catch an eight -tender. Paula and Eddie Gonzalez are still reeling from what could be the loss of their favorite fishing spot. Now we come three and four times a week at least. <laughs> sometimes sometimes five days a every week. Every day just about. Yeah. yeah. It's the lake Paula learned to fish on and the lake Eddie grew up on. Well I've been coming out here over 40 years and it's been an awesome lake. After the park closed in February and partially reopened again in March, Texas Parks and Wildlife announced last week it's taking all steps necessary to buy the land from its new owner, Dallas-based Todd Interests. Uh, we're just like, will they, will they keep it? Will it go to the investment company? TPWD says they don't know when or if the park will close. We asked Todd Interests on Thursday about the latest developments. Their response, no comment. We think about what it's going to be like when when it does and we just want to enjoy every minute we have of it left. The back and forth has Fairfield faithfuls on the hunt for answers, wondering which visit will be the last one. Because who knows, we may drive up one day and the gate shut. <laughs> but until then, Paula and Eddie are gone fishing. I had a conversation with the park supervisor today. Not even he knows how long this park will remain open to the public. And he said crews are still working to take down that Fairfield Lake State Park signage around the park. In Fairfield, Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. Now the state has leased that land since the 1970s. Several years ago, the former owners of the property announced they would sell and they told the state to submit a bid. They insist the state